Hi. The Lord's been giving me a specific word for the body of Christ regarding separation. You know, in uh, Joshua chapter 3, it says, uh, separate or consecrate yourself unto the Lord, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders. But we're in a critical hour right now, and the word of the Lord is going to get stronger and heavier. He wants to separate his people unto his heart, unto himself, so that he can do great things. But there's also judgments that are going to come upon the earth. The scripture says the wrath of God is revealed against all unrighteousness and ungodliness of man. It's very important that we despise sin, that we hate sin because it hurts people, it hurts ourselves, and because the unrighteousness and ungodliness of men is going to have the visitation of the Lord's wrath and judgment upon it. If we're in the sin that is being judged, then we also are going to experience the effect of that judgment, even though the Lord loves us so much. So he's calling forth a people that are going to be radical in righteousness. But he's given me a word about how his wind and his fire is going to blow through the body of Christ and bring forth purified vessels. It's going to be amazing. We're going to see a people come to God that are so pure that they'll manifest the purity and the glory of God in a way that is unprecedented. The Lord's going to be really visiting those who have sin within their heart with strong conviction. And if it's not listened to, there's going to be strong consequences. Now, um, let me follow through with some of this. It's an exciting word, but it's a serious word, isn't it? In the Bible, you see where God does a lot of separating. Right in Genesis 1, he separates light from darkness. In Matthew, he separates wheat from tares. He separates um, the uh, sheep from the goats. He separates the five wise virgins from the five foolish virgins. There's always separating works that we see about wheat from tares. There's all kinds of separation that takes place. But in, in Malachi chapter 3 and 4, he speaks about a separation of what is good and evil. In fact, it says in uh, verse 16 of Malachi 3, Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord gave attention and heard it. If you fear the Lord um, and, and confer with others who fear the Lord, it, it brings the Lord to attention. It says, and a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who esteem his name. And he said, they will be mine, says the Lord, on the day that I prepare my own possession and I spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. So you again will distinguish between the righteous and the wicked between one who serves God and one does not serve and one who does not serve him. So there's going to be a separation that goes on from those who follow the Lord and those who don't. Ones who operate in evil deeds and those who operate in good deeds. The Lord is coming with a separating sword in this hour to separate unto himself those whose heart is completely his. How is he going to do this? Well, in Mal Malachi 3, it says this, The Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, and the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight, behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap, and he will sit as a smelter and purifier of silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi and refine them like gold and silver so that they may present to the Lord offerings in righteousness. Then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord as it is in the days of old and as in former years. And then he will draw near for judgment. So, first of all, a refiner's fire, Jesus himself is going to come as a purifying fire and purify the sons of Levi. That's us, the royal priesthood, the priesthood of believers. Now, let me tell you, if you desire this purifying work, this fire isn't going to hurt. This fire will be pleasant to your soul. Say, oh God, I want the fire of your presence to purify me. Come and purify all the evil out of me. Take all the wrong motives out of me. Burn it up. Burn it up like the dross. Just like out of Malachi 3, it says, there's a baptism with fire coming that's going to burn up the dross. If you desire the fire, it'll be pleasant to your soul. And it'll do exactly what you desire because your delight 
is in the Lord and he will purify you as pure as the driven snow. He will burn up the chaff, he'll burn up the dross and the offerings of worship and the offerings of your sacrifice and your, and your service will be pleasing unto him. This is a time to cry for that refiner's fire. Let him burn up everything that can be, humble yourself before him and say, Lord, I'm gonna fall on you because, before you fall on me because after this refiner's fire that comes to those who long for it, comes to the body of Christ, then judgment comes upon all the unrighteousness. And if you're in unrighteousness, if it's still in you, then you will know the effects of it, not because God wants you to, but just because if he's judging sin and you're inside of sin, then you will have the effects of the wrath of God. And believe me, you don't want to be there. This is a, a strong word and it's a word of warning, but it's also a word of invitation. Now, that's the refiner's fire, but there's a second fire that's coming. The second fire is found in Malachi chapter 4. And he says, for behold, the day is coming, burning like a furnace, and all the arrogant and every evildoer will be chaff. Whoa. And the day that is coming will set them ablaze. Now he's talking about not just the sin being chaff, but those who do it will be chaff. Not just the sin will be burned up, but those who resist the refiner's fire and don't bow to him in the refiner's fire will get the consuming fire. And the consuming fire will burn up not just the sin, it will burn up all that you are and all that you have. I tell you, I'm issuing a prophetic warning right now and a prophetic invitation for all of us to come into this separation because these fires are coming. They'll come very quickly. The first one will come through those that are crying out for it, for those who desire to be purified, for those who want to hold on to their sin and miss the first fire you will get the second fire. But there won't be any time to repent. 